Hello there, and welcome to BEC for today. Slash six weeks look ahead for the UK and for Ireland too. From Gav's weather vids. Wow, wow, wow. She gets into December. Can you believe that? Week number six will take us into the opening days of December and also meet your winter 2022 2023. So, on every update coming up, goodness gracious me, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say about the first our video today was our 6 a.m. upload. And we have four guards, 10 to 14, yeah, come up to you later on as well. But if you like, share, subscribe, video, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you to EC, by the way, ECMDO.INT. Thank you so much to EC for supplying the charts. I don't know, really, right? We'll get on with it then, shall we? You're all saying, get on with it, Gav. Um, right, aren't you? So, uh, we're going to begin with week one. Here we go, then. Week one being sea level pressure anomaly. Taking us, by the way, we get to the 5th of December. Goodness gracious. Wow, wow, wow. Um, but we begin with week one, which is the 24th to the 31st of October. Next week, really. Uh, and uh, it looks unsettled, actually, with low pressure over... The west of the country, high pressure is drifting over towards the east side of Europe. We're bringing the wind in from off the Atlantic as well, so looking unsettled, but also very mild. The 500 millibar high time looks like that. Top of low pressure is in the Atlantic Ocean. What's it doing? That for Drat. Uh, let's do that again. Travel again. Again. Travel low pressure is in the Atlantic. High pressure is moving over towards the eastern side of Europe. And up are coming those really, really mild, if not warm, southerly winds. So check this out. Temperature anomaly is next week. Uh, week one are going to be way above average in most red colours. That's like three to six degrees above average. Some parts of France and Germany are going like six to ten degrees above average. My word, that's warm, isn't it? Very, very warm. <laughs> So, uh, temperatures are going to be above average uh, <laughs> next week. And um, precipitation-wise, you look like this. So, it's actually going to be a bit wetter than average in western areas, but not overly wet. Actually, I would have thought we would have, like, a wetter week than that, but there will be kind of drier days early next week, I suppose. So, that probably keeps it from being too wet. But on the unsettled side, anyway. Right, that's that one Done, everyone. Week two will be the 31st of October, 7th of November. There we go. So, uh, this one will take uh, low pressure to the north. We're going to have low pressure to the north. High pressure will be to the south. So, it looks like we're going to like a westerly flow, I would have thought, there through the first sort of week of uh, November. This is how the uh, 500 millibar. High time looks from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So that shows like low pressure to the north, high pressure south. Looking very zonal, that does it looks very zonal. Wind's coming in from like a west or a southwest direction. The temperature anomaly for week two is gonna be looking like this. So it's still above average, not quite as hot as it is in week one. The warming anomalies are actually being pushed more towards the central east above Europe. Wow, wow, wow. Why else the UK and Ireland has the temperature? Just a little bit um, closer to normal, but still above average, still going to be nice and mild. You won't need to worry about putting your fire on, you know, your, your heating and that. I won't, wouldn't have thought. Um, now, that looks all right. Uh, Precipitation-wise, that looks a little bit wetter, especially in the north, but it's like a near normal signal. But dry snow has gone down to the south, so I reckon that's rather unsettled, but mild through the first week of November. Right, we're cooking with gas now, aren't we? Week three will be the sort of 14th of November. Oh, now this one, oh, now this is a little bit different with below average heights appearing. To our west and southwest, the high pressure is like slipping over towards the uh, southeastern part of uh, Europe and the Med. Um, but that's rather strange, you know. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar heights. Uh, well, they look like you know they're just how they were, don't they? <laughs> With above average heights through much of Europe, low pressure down here, and actually the upshot of that might be just push up more southerlies. To be honest, that's the upshot of that. 
probably start pushing up more very warm air from the south. The temperature normally for week three is above average for the UK and for I don't for most of Europe as well. Precipitation anomaly. It's only a little bit on the wetter side, so we could be shaving up for a wetter start to November. You remember last week, each <laughs> season was forecasting a November drought. Well, it looks like that's gone, gone up the pictures, doesn't it, really? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're looking like we might have November floods. So there we go. I do say it's only a snapshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just had a snapshot, you know, of what Molly is showing on um, that. Right, so week four um, is going to be the 14th to the 21st. I'm so sorry, everybody. And uh, we get some above average heights in the Atlantic and may go up towards Greenland. So a little bit of a blocking signal, maybe. There could there be a trough of low getting going over Scandinavia if there was. Perhaps we could get winding to the north. I don't know. Let's have a look at the 500 millibar height anomaly. See what that one's doing. So, yeah, we've definitely got a mid-Atlantic ridge here, haven't we? Uh, and it's extended up towards green as well. Trough of low somewhere around there, maybe. Could that pull winding to the north? Let's see if the temperature on it starts coming down. Come on down. So, there we go. Temperature on to week four. 14th, 21st of November. Still light hint, it'll be a bit above average, but closer to normal. Actually, a little bit of blue appearing near Iceland. Not much of a cool down, but might suggest the start of something going on. <laughs> something could be going on there. Let's have a look at the. <laughs> Hi. I'm very sorry, everybody. Let's have a look at the uh, week before precipitation. I'm slightly giddy on this one, you'll have noticed. So, um, well, it's driving average like around Greenland uh, and a bit wetter to our east, otherwise near normal precipitation. I reckon that's transitioning to northerlies. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I reckon that's transitioning to northerlies. So... There you go. Um, week 5 will be the 21st of November 28th. What's happening? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, oh, well, that's quite, oh, well, quite interesting as well. With uh, higher pressure just to our uh, north and northwest. Now, could that pull the wind into the northeast? Could it pull the wind into the northeast, everybody? What do you think? What do you think? Uh, what do you think? Um, week 5 mean sea level pressure. No, 500 feet of our height anomaly looks like that. Above average height. It's just generally knocking around the North Atlantic, really. Um, I reckon that could be cooling things down, I have to say, in the second half of November. Temperature anomalies are a little bit above average. Overbond does not want to go for anything cold. So, uh, temperature anomalies holding up, albeit it's getting closer to average or no signal. Uh, and that's how the um, precipitation precipitation anomalies as well. A bit drive and average just to our north. That's where the high pressure is, of course. If I push to our north, there's no reason we're not bringing the wind from the north or the northeast. So I can't see why that wouldn't be quite cold, <laughs> personally. Um, right, now, we can get into the judge to winter. Wow, 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 wow. So this is week six, taking us from a 20. 28th of November to the 5th of December, and uh, this is it. One, two, three. Oh, and oh, <laughs> anti cyclonic. Look at that high pressure, is more or less over country, but it does extend to the north a little bit, just a little bit. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. Big area of above average heights getting going in the North Atlantic and, you know, across North and Western Europe. The temperature anomaly looks like that. So there is a cool down that's going on across here because we're losing all of that red and pink and we're going towards no signal. So in this high pressure, it might get a little bit chilly. We're like um, close to average or a little bit above and it should be pretty dry. I would have thought. There we go. Driving average as well. So a dry end to November and beginning of December. Maybe frost and fog. Maybe the gruesome twosome. Woo! 
<laughs> we'll want a little bit of a threesome twosome. I don't know. Right, well, that's it, Ben. That was all right, weren't it? That went all right. Um, So, uh, with Frick last week's idea of a November drought, it now looks like we're going to have a very wet first <laughs> to um, November. And then it gets drier and possibly a little bit colder. Maybe, just a little bit colder later on in the month. But, of course, we'll have to wait and see about that. Maybe just a snapshot. Of what the morning's showing this week. It could look totally different when we look at this next week. You've actually probably <laughs> on past evidence. But there we go. We, you've uh, had a look anyway. Uh, so well, that's that one done. Right, we'll tick that one off. We're going to do a weekend forecast next. I'll see you back in a row. And uh, then we will have the 10 to 14 day, which is going to include all our regular features. So uh, make sure you check that one out. For this week's EC 42 day. They slash this week's all head back to all for now and thanks for watching. Bye.